question one find first part 12 divided by 3 by 4 second 14 divided by 5 by 6 third 8 divided by 7 by 3 fourth 4 divided by 8 by 3 fifth 3 divided by 2 and 1 by 3 and the last one is 5 divided by 3 and 4 by 7 so basically what we will do here is we will flip them because we have learned in this chapter that division gets change to multiplication by flipping the subsequent fractions so here 12 we place multiply and we flip 3 by 4 to 4 by 3 now 1 3 is a 3 4 3 is a 12 4 4 is a 16 whole part is the answer second we write 14 as it is divide is converted to multiplication and fraction is flipped 5 by 6 becomes 6 by 5 that is numerator to denominator denominator to numerator now 14 6 are 84 over 5 now it is improper you got to change it to proper so 5 16s are 80 and 4 by 5 third 8 divided by 7 by 3 8 into flip it 3 over 7 then 8 3s are 24 7 1 is 7 now improper 3 7s are 21 plus 3 and 3 by 7 now fourth 4 into flip it 3 by 8 cutting a portion 3 1 4 is a 4 2 4 is a 8 then 3 over 2 improper it is 1 and half fifth 3 divided by we got to make it to fraction 7 over 3 now 3 into flip it 3 over 7 now 3 3 is a 9 over 7 now 7 1 is a 7 2 is remainder and 7 last part 5 divided by 21 plus 4 is 25 over 7 now 5 as it is multiplication flip it 7 or 25 5 5 is a 25 1 5 is a 5 so 7 over 5 which is 5 and the 5 2 is remainder so this is your first question second find the reciprocal of each of the following fractions classify the reciprocals as proper fractions improper fractions and whole numbers so you have to classify the fractions as whether they are proper improper or whole proper is something that has numerator less than denominator improper is numerator higher than denominator whole is complete number no fractions at all so let's do it the first one is 3 over 7 now we got to flip it so it becomes 7 over 3 it is improper fraction because numerator is greater than denominator second 5 over 8 flip it 8 over 5 then it is again improper because numerator is greater than denominator 9 over 7 9 numerator to denominator and denominator 7 to numerator it is proper because numerator is small than denominator again we will flip it it becomes 5 over 6 it is proper because again numerator is smaller 12 over 7 becomes 7 over 12 it is proper because numerator is smaller than denominator that was your fifth part now 1 over 8 when you flip it it becomes 8 over 1 and we need not to write 1 in the denominator so this is a whole number last part again the same thing when we flip it it becomes 11 which is a whole number so whole numbers are those which starts from 0 and goes to infinity in positive direction that was second third find number first 7 over 3 divided by 2 then second 4 by 9 divided by 5 6 by 13 divided by 7 4 and 1 third divided by 3 3 and a half divided by 4 the last one is 4 and 3 seventh divided by 7 so here we go 7 by 3 as it is division as it is so wherever it is not written it is 1 in the denominator you can assume it as to be 1 now multiplication we flip it it becomes half now 7 upon 6 
and to mixed fraction it is 1 and 1 over 6. Here 4 by 9 as it is, placing 1 below denominator of 5. Now flip it, 1 over 5, 4 ones are 4, 9 fives are 45. It is proper. 6 over 13 as it is, placing 1 in the denominator of 7. And then 6 by 13, changing sign multiplication and with changing sign it flips. 6 ones are 6, 13 sevens are 91. It is again proper. This numerator is smaller than denominator. Now, opening mixed fraction, 12 plus 1 is 13 over 3, divided by 3 over 1. 13 by 3 as it is, changing sign, flipping the fraction. 3 over 1, 2 1 over 3, now 13 over 9. Improper, so it is 1 and remainder is 4 over 9. 2 and half is converted to 7 over 2, 3 to the 6 plus 1 is 7 divided by 4 then shown by 2 as it is changing sign flipping 1 over 4 it becomes 7 over 8 proper now 7 for the 28 plus 3 is 31 over 7 divided by 7 over 1 placing 1 in the denominator it is understood now 31 over 7 changing sign and flipping the fraction 7 by 1 becomes 1 by 7 now 31 over 49 it is proper because numerator is smaller than denominator that was your question number third fourth find first part 2 by 5 divided by half 4 by 9 divided by 2 third 3 by 7 divided by 8 by 7 2 and 1 by 3 divided by 3 by 5 3 and half divided by 8 by 3 2 by 5 divided by 1 and half seventh is 3 and 1 by 5 divided by 1 and 2 by 3. Last is 2 and 1 by 5 divided by 1 and half. So let's do it. So this is you now. So this you know very well. 2 to the 4 and 5. Now 4 by 9 as it is. And then changing sign, flipping fraction. It becomes 3 by 2. Now cutting opportunity 1 to the 2, 2 to the 4, 3, 3 cancels out. Now 2 over 3. It is proper. Third part. 3 over 7 divided by 8 by 7. So when we flip it, it becomes 7 by 8. Now cutting opportunity. 7 and 7. So it is 3 by 8. Again proper. Now 3 to the 6 plus 1 is 7. 7 over 3 divided by 3 by 5. Now 7 by 3 into Flip it, it becomes 5 by 3. Then 7 5 is 35 and 3 3 is 9. Now improper, so 9 3 is 27, 8 is remainder and 9. Now 3 to the 6 plus 1 is 7, 7 by 2. Divided by 8 by 3, 7 by 2 as it is. And then multiply it with 3 over 8. When you flip it, it becomes 21 over 16. So, 1 and 5 over 16. Now here, 2 by 5 as it is, divide by 2 ones are 2 plus 1, 3 by 2. So you cannot cut it here. Do not make this mistake. You have to cut only when you convert it into multiplication, as you do here. So, 4 over 15 is your answer. Now 15 plus 1 is 16 over 5 divided by 3 plus 2 is 5 over 3. Again, you cannot cut it here because it is division. Now 16 over 5 into, you flip it. Whenever you change the sign, you flip it from division to multiplication. So 16 3 is a 48 and 5 5 is a 25 improper. 25 1 is a 25, 23 is remainder. So it is 1 and 23 by 25. Here. 5 to the 10 plus 1 is 11 over 5 divided by 5 plus 1 is 6 over 5. Now 11 over 5 into 5 over 6. 5 5 cancel out 11 over 6. It is improper. So 6 from the 6, 5 is remainder over 6. So that was your last question, question number 4.